Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's play some Blade Runner. This is an older game. And it's uh, primarily a point-and-click adventure game based on the movie Blade Runner. So let's go over the options here. Music, sound effects, ambient sound. Looks all good. We can choose the designer cuts. Why not? I'm not sure what the difference is. Or we can have these options in conversation. Polite. This is normal. Surly. Erratic. And user choice. I like user choice, so we'll do that. Let's see. Gameplay. Walk by left clicking on the ground, etc. etc. Combat. Enter or exit combat mode by right clicking anywhere. Okay. KIA. Activate KIA. McCoy's personal information manager by left clicking on him when he does not have his gun drawn. McCoy's money is displayed on the right side. There's a picture of a bullet at the bottom. As McCoy acquires new types of ammunition, more bullets will appear. Okay. Yeah, some keyboard shortcuts. Space enter tab. Activate clue database. That is convenient. Online help. Save game, F2, F3, crime scene database, suspect database. Okay, so we got to keep this in mind. Um, we can save our game. We can load our game. Quit game. And resume game. Okay. Let's see. If we go back. I think we are... Pretty much done here. Let's see, what else can we do? Resume game. Uh, I don't know, let's escape. No, we cannot do this. We can save our game. We can load a game. Oh, we can start a new game. All right, here. Now, there are three difficulty modes. Easy, medium, and hard. But the problem being is that the game does not tell you what the difference is. Now, if I'm not mistaken, primarily the difference is that there are certain arcade sequences in the game. And the difficulty for those are basically easy, medium, and hard. But I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I'm playing the game that I have bought on a disc. So, I'm not playing the GOG version of the game. All right. Um, I guess we'll just choose easy then. And watch the intro. Right, early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase of being virtually technical to a human known as Replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility and at least equal in intelligence to the gene uh, genetic engineers who created them. Replicas were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After a bloody mutiny by the Nexus Sex Combat Team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Special police squads, Blade Runner units, had ordered to shoot and kill upon detection any trespassing replicant. This was not called execution, it was called retirement. All right. Los Angeles, November 2019. Wow. 
unfortunately this did not happen in our real world. We're not flying around in police cars, are we? Leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humility. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What's Guza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. 
Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Okay. Now look at that. This is how you start the game. Anyway, this is a game from, if I'm not mistaken, a 19... 97 so 23 years ago you gotta you gotta admire how it looks look at all these little uh, animations you know the umbrella moving left and right and this lady as well somebody's moving here police guy full of time this was uh, just a really good Find something game. piece of chrome from a car no I think it's horse chrome Bag it and tag it. Okay. We gotta do some pixel hunting. See where that takes us. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Okay. Oh, he's going back in his car if you do that. Oh, look at that. Go to various locations. Koi's apartment. Police station. And the animal uh, cellar. See if we can talk to the guy, to the police what do you guy. Know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Great voice acting. Overall. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Okay. Let's take a look at um, some of the options again. Is there any subtitles? Sometimes I get lazy. I just want to read it. Oh, at least we'll save the game. All right. Let's see. What about this dustbin? Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Okay. Well, seems like we need to go inside and check out the store. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Okay, let's talk to the, uh, the owner first. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Okay. Motives. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? 
I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Okay. So the guy is kind of uh, emotional under this circumstances. That is understandable. Let's see if we can... You Check got any discs out. from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyen's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. All right. Gonna show me the uh, camera footage. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Okay. Well, in futuristic 2019, we're still I'm using CD ROMs. Totally or ruined. Alright, so. Is there anything else? we can actually do here. Let's hoover over the environment and see what we can and cannot interact. I'm ruined! Totally ruined! This guy is repeating the same line over and over. That's not funny. I don't think we can do that much here. There's blood on the floor. Maybe talk a little bit more to the guy about other things. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Bercheron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? My precious one. She was my baby. All right. Anything else? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Right. Well, we've got two leads. So we have the girl and the disc. Let's check the desk. Maybe there's some clues there. A candy bar. Yuck. Okay. What if I click on the character? Oh, okay. Look at that. Chrome debris. These are clues. Footprints, limping footprints, officer statements, interview, and we have video. Can we check that? How do we use that? Just press play or something? Video clips. Not sure how to do that. I don't think you ever actually can. All right. Got some candy. Three. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. Judging from about 30 scratches. I'm absolute. There's. Maybe we'll have to check the video elsewhere. I don't know. All right. There we 
I got a gun, I think. No, we haven't. Lucy. Okay. What else? Anything else here we can check? Well, isn't that cute? Well, isn't that cute? What's that? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Okay. So we got another. Lee. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. All right, something. Chopstick. Guess we need that. Chinatown. What's that? Hmm. A toy dog. I don't think there's anything else here. Is there? Maybe talk oh, to the guy I again. The See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. I mean, for the time, it looks quite good. Here you are. Okay. Look at that. Some toy dog. And a reference letter. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. Okay. I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, at the crime scene. There isn't a whole lot we can interact with. Maybe again, let's talk to the guy one more time. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I... Precious one. She was my baby. All right. Again, let's check the back room here. Just to be sure. No, there's nothing else. I mean, clues are easily missed. Uh, against the backdrop. That's usually the thing with these uh, adventure games. Especially of the I'm time. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. All right, an act of vengeance. The plot thickens. Anyway, maybe the police officer has more to say. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Okay. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Real actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. All right. Let's go to another location, see what we can dig up there. Well, I think Chinatown is probably the best way to go. So that pops up on the radar when you sort of investigate. So let's go there. See what's there. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. All right. Let's uh, 
Talk to this fella with the, uh, the red suit. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. Isn't that stereotype Chinese talk? Can you still do that in 2020? <laughs> just joking. Again, you're a pretty fly. smart looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large? You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Hmm. Look how he's walking. That's funny. See what we can do here. Hmm. What do you know? What about this guy? Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Oh, really? Hmm. This guy says he knows nothing. Let's try it again. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. I don't think we can do anything else here. Guy doesn't want to talk. Unless... Can you... Use any of these items... In the world? Like... The reference letter? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. Alright. Well, we will definitely have to um, check the wholesaler. I don't think there's anything here. Let's go outside again. Hmm. 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 Talk to the uh, night, isn't it? The owner. When business thriving, night always beautiful. Let's see. Clues. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just months. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. All right. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're a prince, Howie. See you later, Howie. Hmm. All right, we can go back with the car. Go to the back again. See you later, Howie. There's not much else here that we can do. Can we go this way? No. Excuse me. It's just passers by. Well, let's see. There's one more time to the back. Stick around. All I might right. want to talk to you later. No. I think we need to go to some other location. I think we're pretty much... Ex we've uh, exhausted all possibilities here. Yeah, so let's take the car. 
And, um... Alright, Chinatown. Apartment. Or police station. We'll, we'll go to the police station. Maybe there's a way to access that video. That we've picked up. Surveillance video. I mean, you gotta admit that this game still looks the part. Might not be as detailed or beautiful, but this oozes atmosphere. Let's go inside. Um. Lock up. Ground floor. Mainframe and shooting range. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Let's go to the ground floor first. Oh, look at that. That's impressive. I like the new perspective. I'm so much smaller now. Is there anything we can do here? No. There's some random police guy walking around. I don't think that we need to interact with him. Let's go back into the elevator. What's on the second floor? What was it? Mainframe. All right, mainframe. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. All right. Let's go this way. See what's there. Oh, well, this is... it ain't Ray McCoy. Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. All right. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Okay. We'll go this way. Is Hit this the shooting rates? I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Oh, this is the shooting range. So with the right mouse, you can get a a cursor. Or a, what's it called? Um, crosshair. Go to this way. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. Let's go this way. I mean, it all looks uh, pretty shady. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Let's see if we can go get back. Oh, we can't. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. I want to go back to uh, the investigation, but I um, guess I'm.
I'm stuck here. Alright, there isn't much I can do. Just Alright, we'll just follow the waypoints, I guess. Alright, well I ended up here, back again, let's go this way. Oh, look at that! A whole bunch of computers. This could be useful. Scanning video disc. Oh, Two nice! enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. What is that? Oh, look at that. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. What about the other guy? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I guess we already have, uh... He looks familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait! What about the, um... License plate? Hmm. Hard to see. Hmm. I don't see a license plate. Oh, there is one! Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. Hmm. What's he reading? Hmm. We got the license plate. And we got a, a face. Alright, I guess that's enough for this one. I guess. How do we exit this? What about that other picture? Run setter crime scene. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What am I missing? Hmm. 
Some animal. I don't see the girl on any of the pictures. Just the monkey. I don't know. Oh, it can actually move a little bit to the left and right. Hmm. If this is all, hmm. Uh. Run setter crime scene. Maybe I'm still missing something here. Maybe something on the desk. Oh, look at that. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. All right, we got another clue. What's on the screen? Uh, nothing, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else uh, here that you know, we can possibly investigate. Let's check out that Run -setter crime scene. other picture one more time. Is there anything else here? What about that car? Oh, look at that! A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Uh huh. Okay. Should we check this guy out again? I don't see the girl anywhere, so only got the menu. No. All right. Let's see. Do we check this room? Oh yeah, we checked the room. Um, right. Let's check out these uh, papers. Old copies of case files, notices and memos. The usual station junk. Right, okay. Let's go to three. Laboratory. Let's go to the lab. See what's up there. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runcitus, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runsitter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. 
Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Right. So we exhausted his uh, conversation options. There's not much else here. What about if I go back to... Roof. Roof. <laughs> Just checking the roof. Back to Chinatown. Let's see if we uh, can do something with the menu. Talk to the guy at the restaurant. That'll be interesting. All right. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do highway favor, distribute all through our police station. What? See you later, Howie. Okay. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. Okay. So, seems like we're not getting further here. Let's check out some of the other locations. We haven't checked McCoy's apartment. So we're gonna go there next. Love the game. Gotta admit. Super original. I mean, for a movie tie-in, most of these games based on movies are pretty crappy. Alright, let's go inside the apartment then. Pretty futuristic looking all. Your floor number, please. My floor number, I don't know. Apartments. McCoy! McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Lots of different perspectives. Larger, smaller, depending on the... I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. All right. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. All right, let's see. What can... What can we do here? Again, we have the computer. Hmm. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Maggie, come here, girl. Who's the best dog in the whole world? So it's got a synthetic dog. <laughs> mm, that's how it goes. In Blade Runner. Alright, what do we have here? There's a bed. Not sure what he did there, but... Um, Check out the balcony. Oh, very nice. Not much else to do here. What's this? No messages. I'm in demand. Hmm. Portrait of the sleep deprived.
Hmm. Hmm. I might have overlooked something. Run setter crime scene. What is this? Oh, look at that. That's Lucy. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Hmm. Well, we got a picture of Lucy. Hmm. Look at that. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. There's more to these pictures than I thought. We gotta look for the details. Maybe there's more on the other one as well. Run setter crime scene. Hmm. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Well, I can't zoom in on the car. Oh well. At least we got a photograph of Lucy. Maybe we can use that in Chinatown. Number, please. Apartments, ground floor. Oh, I should have taken the uh, top floor, of course. Your floor number, please. Love to fly that thing. Chinatown, it is. I love these uh, random cutscenes. This girl ever eat around here? Nah. All Gaijin look like you, old man. See you later, Howie. Hmm. What about that other cook guy at the back? You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know and who I don't know. I don't know her. Think hard. Okay. Maybe seen her once. At station. Riding north on bullet train. North, huh? Whoa! Okay. Let's follow the guy then. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot him. 
A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some ginion? Thanks. The big man, he kind of limping. That away. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. This looks like a shady business here. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. What about this hole there? Yuck. All right. That's a mess. Very shady. I guess we need to go up the stairs. See what's there. Hmm. Might also want. Whoa. Might also want to save my game. Just to be sure. Locked. Hmm. Locked. It's locked. Okay. Locked. Alright, so... Are we in a dead end here? sure what to do. Go up again. It's just. I find it odd. Come to, um. Locked. Maybe I should go just move back. What's that? Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Well, I did find something. Got the license plates. Found a picture. That black paint, most of them were just. This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. You know this girl or not? Nope. I know. You know this girl or not? Nope. I know who I know and who I don't. Go this way. See you later, Howie. Hmm. All right. Let's check the police station again. 
Can we just skip the ride? I don't think so. Oh, we can. Here we go. Just to speed things up a little bit. Maybe that license plate will give me some more uh, info. Lock up. Lock up. I don't think. Ooh! There's a guy in here. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. Um... How about the protest? I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, Detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? What do you know? Zero that would interest you, Detective. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care- Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Okay. What should I do? Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Low intensity question. Medium. High. You notice someone attractive across the room. If I thought the attraction was mutual, I would ask her out for coffee or lunch. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. And let me guess, pictures of dead animals inside. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. These questions are becoming predictable, detective. Human interaction. Replicants. Hmm. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? Horrible. Frightening. Why? They're hunted creatures. Anyone, anyone can gun them down without consequence. I'd say that's frightening, wouldn't you? Right, so... The human reaction... Gor gorge... went up. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Appropriate. For a killer. Oh. Replicant reaction went up. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. You're enjoying this. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This conversation is over, Detective. I don't have to sit here and take abuse. Test terminated. Oh. All right. 
Well, I don't think that actually works very well. Um, yeah. What else? Um, go home again? There's not a whole lot I can do now. But obviously I must have overlooked something. Whoa! What's that? I'm shooting the guy. Ooh! Alright. Now what? Uh, Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Oh, there's a guy up on the roof. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Who is that guy? Yuck. 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 All right, so I cannot inspect the body. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Let's go to the back. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. All right. No messages. I'm in demand. Should we go to bed now? Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me. Where be your research on Nexus 6? 
I need <laughs> test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader. Extra terrestrial gravity. <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package man. No. No, please, don't! <laughs> All right. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are deal or not. Tyrell security will have a disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Right. Well, that was fun. It's getting weirder and weirder, but, um... Thank you guys for uh, watching this, and see you next time.